Hello, my name is Sumit Asrani and I'm a hepatologist at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. I appreciate this opportunity to discuss our research on the role of magnetic resonance elastography in persons with compensated and decompensated cirrhosis. Now it's known that persons with compensated disease and decompensated disease have disparate clinical outcomes. For example, somebody with compensated cirrhosis has about a five-fold increased risk in mortality as compared to the general population, whereas somebody with decompensated cirrhosis has about a tenfold increased risk in mortality. So identifying persons who transition from compensated to decompensated cirrhosis is important, yet imperfect. So far, hepatic venous pressure gradient is a mechanism to identify this transition. However, hepatic venous pressure gradient, or HVPG, is invasive and not readily available. Hence, there has been interest in looking at non-invasive predictors of this uh, transition from compensated to decompensated liver disease. Now, ultrasound as well as MR-based elastography has been associated with presence of cirrhosis as well as identification of clinically significant portal hypertension at baseline. However, its role in predicting decompensation has not been evaluated. In this study, we examined the role of MR elastography for two purposes. One, to see if it, if it can identify persons with decompensated cirrhosis at baseline, and two, to see if it can identify persons with compensated cirrhosis who are at risk of pre uh, pro proceeding to decompensated cirrhosis. Between 2007 and 2011, we examined all persons uh, who underwent MR elastography at Mayo Clinic Rochester um, uh, and followed them through September of 2012. During this time, we included all persons with either biopsy-proven cirrhosis or clinical evidence of uh, cirrhosis. We comprised a baseline cohort as well as a follow-up cohort. The primary variable of interest was uh, liver stiffness measurement as uh, quantified by MR elastography, and the primary uh, outcome of interest was presence of decompensation, whether this is variceal bleeding, ascites, or development of hepatic encephalopathy. First, looking at the baseline cohort. We had approximately 430 subjects with cirrhosis. Of these, about one-third had evidence of decompensation. In this study, for persons with, who underwent MRE, Persons with decompensated cirrhosis had a higher liver stiffness value of 6.8 kilopascals as compared to persons with compensated cirrhosis, which was about 5.2 kilopascals. On multivariable analysis, uh, liver stiffness measurement as measured by MRE was significantly associated with hepatic decompensation with an odds ratio of 1.12. We subsequently broke this into four quartiles of MELD and liver stiffness measurement. Persons with a MELD score less than 10, as well as a liver stiffness measurement less than 5.2 uh, kilopascals, the prevalence of decompensated cirrhosis was 16%, as compared to in the group with the MELD greater than 10 and measurement of liver stiffness greater than 5.2 kilopascals, it was about 68%. Next, we looked at a follow-up cohort. We examined all persons with biopsy-proven advanced fibrosis stage 3 or 4 who had compensated disease and followed them for 27 months. Over this time, 7% uh, of patients had decompensation. Once again, uh, uh, liver stiffness measurement was a predictor of development of decompensation. As an example, and using a cutoff of 5.8 kilopascals, persons with compensated disease at baseline and a liver stiffness measurement greater than 5.8 kilopascals had a five-fold increased risk of decompensation as someone compared to having lower values than that. Now, the question becomes is whether MR elastography is similar to ultrasound-based elastography. It is unclear whether they have the same predictive values. However, in a recent meta-analysis by our group, ultrasound-based elastography as well as MR-based elastography both equally predicted uh, the rates of uh, decompensation, development of hepatocellular carcinoma, as well as death. Now the pros of using MR elastography is that it is easy to add to an MRI examination. There is a higher rate of uh, completion as well as it can be easily performed in persons that are obese as well as those have uh, evidence of ascites. With ultrasound based elast elastography, it is more easily available, however it does have a higher rate of incomplete examinations. Finally, in our study, we were not able to compare 
uh, hepatic venous pressure gradient measurements as well as MR elastography in a significant number of people uh, to reach a valuable conclusion. So in summary, MR elastography is a novel tool to assist in the management of persons with liver disease. With this study as well as other studies, I think elastography has moved to a realm where it is no longer just a diagnostic tool to diagnose cirrhosis. However, it can also serve as a prognostic tool to identify persons highest at risk of complication and therefore needing further follow-up. Thank you.